Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. When you make the switch from Android to iPhone, the first thing that you need to know is how to transfer pictures from Android to iPhone. So in today's video, I'll show you guys how to transfer your photos from Android to iOS with or without PC. Let's jump in. Method 1. Transfer with Google Photos app. This method does not require a PC, but all you need is Google Photos app, which all Android phones should have installed. Just tap it. Head to the settings menu. Photo settings. Tap backup and sync option. Make sure that that is switched on. Once you do that, all your photos will automatically upload to the cloud. This may take some time depending on the amount of media you need to back up. Then pick up your iPhone. Open the App Store. Search Google Photos. And install it. When the download is completed, open it. Tap Allow Access to All Photos. You may be prompted to allow Google Photos to access your photos. Just tap Allow. Then sign into your Google account. Here you need to pay attention that. This account must be the same Google account used on your Android. After you have successfully logged in, next tap your profile icon in the top right corner. Photo settings. Backup and sync. Toggle this on and your images will be available to download there. The convenience of using this method is that whenever you take a new photo on any device, it will be uploaded to Google Albums. And you can even access the new photo on other devices. But the only downside is that users get only 15 GB of free storage in Google Photos. And you can fill up really fast with quality photos and videos. If you require more space, you'll need to pay a subscription cost with Google. Method 2. Send photos with a move to iOS app. If you haven't activated your iPhone yet, then you can definitely try using this method. Download the Move to iOS app on your Android phone. Apple have their own app Move to iOS. It's for people wanting to switch to the Apple ecosystem from their Android rivals. Once done, make sure your new iPhone is in the setup state and both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi as well as having a sufficient amount of battery. Now I'll skip the unimportant parts. Then you can see the apps and data page. Tap Move Data from Android. Open the Move to iOS app on your Android and tap Continue. Agree the terms and conditions. When you see Find Your Code, tap Continue. Back to your iPhone. Tap Continue on the Move from Android screen you will receive a code. Enter the code on your Android device to make the connection between iPhone and Android. On the Android, choose what data you want to transfer. Select photos, of course, but you can't the exact photos that you want to move, so you have to transfer them all from the Android to your new iPhone. The process will not be long. This depends on the size of your data. Once done, you can reach the transfer complete page on your Android phone and you should continue and finish the setup on your iPhone. To be honest, if you have already set up and started using your new iPhone, you may try next method, because the free app is a great way to transfer all content from your Android device over to a new iPhone, but it will overwrite your existing data. Method 3. Share photos with iCare phone. This method requires a PC, but you are able to transfer the exact photo instead of overriding your existing data. Connect your Android to the computer and find your device name on the PC. Photos are usually saved in the CIM folder. Camera. Choose the photos you want to transfer. If you want to choose all, press Ctrl A and copy them to the new empty file. Then switch to your iPhone. Connect it to your PC. Then launch iCareFone. Click Manage on the left menu bar. Click Import here. Choose File or Folder whatever you want. Here I choose Folder. And just in seconds, the photos will be transferred to your iPhone. Then, it's done. Let's go back to iPhone. 
Well done! The photos on the Android phone were successfully transferred to the iPhone. And this method did not overwrite the data I had before. What's important is that the program is free, and there is no data size limit. Okay, here is today's tutorial. Hope you like it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you succeed in one of the methods. If you like this video, you can subscribe us. Stay tuned for our next videos.